10 through 31. 10 through all of us. Amen. Who can find a virtuous woman? Come on, come on. For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no seed of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant's ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth the field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands she planted the vineyard. She girded her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the staff. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor, yea, she reacheth forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry, her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Amen. Amen. This says a lot, and I'll go back over portions of it. Um, the first scripture says in verse 10, it says, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. We have to know what we're worth, that we're not just something that a man can use and abuse and throw down. Uh, hold yourself that you know that you're worth something. Don't don't carry yourself as if you are, you know, your head's down, your shoulders are slewed over, you're you're not taking care of yourself. You are, you know, a rupee is something that's hidden, that's in the ground that they have to dig up, polish up, dust up to make it um, its beauty. But don't be hidden like that that rupee that's still in the ground as if you know nobody's looking for you. But uh, if your husband is going to find you. He wants to find something that's shiny and pretty and nice and well kept. He doesn't want to look for, you know, you don't need to be rolling around over in the corner, you know, moping. And he's, he's not even going to look that direction. So Amen. prepare yourself uh, if you are looking for your husband. And when your husband does, or when your husband is looking for you, prepare for yourself. Um, and once he does find you and you become the wife, um, do not let yourself fall away and dance. Don't prepare yourself and don't keep yourself up. Because I was telling someone just the other day what it took to catch him, what it took to get it is going to take to keep him. Um, so take care of yourself. I'm not, you know, saying go, you know, do all this. Just take care of yourself. The same way, I mean, if you want to look in the mirror and you're pleased with the way you look, you want your husband to feel the same way. You, you want him to feel, that's my wife, not to be embarrassed and, and be ashamed of you. You want him to be something nice for your husband that's to look my wife. Um, and it says, the next verse, it says, The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. What this is saying is, he's putting his trust and his faith into you. Don't make him regret that. Don't, don't make that. Spoil means to ruin. What do you do with stuff that's ruined? You throw it out. You get rid of it. Don't let your husband want to do that with you because of the way you're... you're you're not caring for him, you're not loving him, you're not showing the compassion that he needs. Um, it says that the woman will seek uh, wool, flax, work it with your hands. Don't be a lazy woman. This scripture says repeatedly, don't be lazy, don't be idle. Um, it really bothers me when I see um, women who have one child, two children. You might even have a couple. Um, but it's woe is me, and I'm going to stay in the house, and I'm going to whine, and I'm going to complain. No, get out and do something. You know, take care of yourself. Care for your family. It is your responsibility. We know the husband is the head of the house, but we're the ones that prepare the house. 
We're the ones that get the house off the road. We cook, we take care of things. Um, so we know that the reflection of that house is going to go on to the husband, but it's the responsibility of us to keep it together. Um, it talks about, it, um, in the 14th verse, she's like a merchant ship. She brings forth food. It is your responsibility to cook, to wow. clean. And I don't, well, think, I don't mean microwave macaroni and cheese. Like you. <laughs> Proverbs 21 and 9. That's all I have. Amen. 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 